Embedding PebblePad ePortfolio Learning into the Murdoch University Bachelor of Nursing course, Dr. Caroline Nilsson and Dr. Martin Hopkins. Caroline and Martin are the champions of PebblePad ePortfolio Learning for the nursing discipline and have facilitated the rollout of ePortfolio Learning across the whole of course three-year Bachelor of Nursing program. Initial implementation began in 2014 and rollout across the course will be complete by the end of 2018. ePortfolio Learning in the Bachelor of Nursing is a cyclic and back-forward process where students move in and between the three domain space for learning and of learning to achieve knowledge gains and experience and to meet the necessary learning outcomes and develop the necessary competence. We use the joined up thinking approach when implementing ePortfolio activities so that students see the big picture and understand the expectations of the degree and of the, of the profession. Joined up thinking allows for students to take ownership of their self-development, which ultimately impacts on employability. Joined up thinking also allows academics to continually improve their own teaching practices. E-portfolio learning and development in the nursing program occurs at the interface of the TPAC model. Using this model, our academics can bring together their teaching and learning strategies, their knowledge of the subject, and the technology of the PebblePad platform. The fusion of the three knowledges has enabled our academics to engage their students with the subject content through ownership of their learning space. ePortfolio Learning, mapped through the whole of course approach, takes students through the PebblePad learning journey from orientation and induction to preparing them for professional practice and registration. This presentation will showcase an ePortfolio activity in a third year, fifth semester, combined clinical simulation and theory unit. Okay, so to give you some context as to how the students use PebblePad within their learning journey, they did this within a simulated ward environment. And this is where they used it, the picture on the screen, and there was a ward of seven beds um, per ward. Each bed space um, replicated real-world uh, ward environments and we were trying to replicate the paperless environment and therefore each bed space had a touchscreen computer behind the bed which obviously aided in the use of PebblePad for their learning journey. When the students first entered the clinical environment, the, one of the students would access PebblePad via our one-touch LMS login system and then a group of three or four students would use one workbook and then that one student would share the workbook with the others to facilitate some group learning and understanding. The sharing of workbooks on a weekly basis allowed group projects to be undertaken and enabled collaborative working through what equates to a 14 week group project throughout the semester. Also, the students work within different groups on a weekly basis to replicate, replicate real-life ward environments. This is the workbook we used within the unit, and you can see that here on the screen we have some biographical data to introduce the student to the patient, and then a series of prompts for them to work through. This developed independent thinking within the students and allowed for critical analysis and critical reflection as well on their care. As the weeks progressed throughout the semester, the patient care became far more complex and more in-depth and required a lot more interventions from the students. But as the students had previous weeks in front of them, they were able to go back and reflect and review what they'd done to their patients and understand if the patient care was accurate. Over the course of the 14 week semester, this allowed the students to continue on their learning journey and on a weekly basis develop specific competencies such as hard skill competencies of patient uh, clinical skills as well as 
the softer competencies and essential competencies of communication and therapeutic interaction. The use of the Pebble Pad workbook in this way enabled the students to develop skills to be used in real life scenarios for use in the clinical placement. This high fidelity room that you can see here was used for just this, where the students used the skills they developed through Pebble Pad and embraced them in a real life situation. The ability to transfer skills from the Pebble Pad workbook into the ward environment and then into a high fidelity, high complex environment really prepared the students well for their clinical placements and allowed them to reflect on their work that they've done in the lab prior to going out on placement. The workbook enabled us to pull together all the skills and all the care that we carried out over the course of the semester and in week 14 the students carried out two weeks of care within a two hour period to provide holistic therapeutic care to patients that they've grown to know over the course of the semester. Student feedback on this was overwhelmingly positive. Students felt that not only did it better prepare them for their clinical placement and, their, and to enhance their clinical practice skills, but they felt that the use of these workbooks enabled them to develop skills that would continue throughout their career. And we believe that this statement from a student sums up exactly what we were trying to aim for from implementation of Pebble Pad within a clinical theoretical component. Please feel free to contact us if you have any comments or questions or queries. Uh, our, both our Caroline's and my contact details are there. Be happy to take any questions uh, or um, collaborate with anyone that wishes to know any further details on what we've done throughout.